Hey everybody, it's Jenny Doldy. I wanted to come on today and create a instructional video on how to paint a sunflower window. I started painting them in the fall of last year on vintage windows that people have removed from old homes or barns or in my case, potting shed. And I've been painting them in reverse. So it's on the back of the window and it's viewed from the front. And people have been confused on how to go about this and have been asking for a video and I've been racking my brain on how to do it to show you. Because usually when I paint them, I'm painting them um, in my garage or on an easel and you can't really see it from behind that way. Well, in my community, there is a charity called Pre Breeze Gift and a local business, Troy, Troy Flooring, is doing um, having people put sunflowers in their windows and they'll contribute a dollar for each going for each one that is posted to the charity Breeze Gift, which gave me the idea that I have this perfect front door here where that would be perfect to go ahead and not only create a, an instructional video, but to bring awareness to Breeze Gift. And um, just thought I'd share. So the first thing that I did was I thoroughly cleaned the window, both inside and out. And I attached my template that I created, just a normal dog, I, the template that I created um, to put behind the windows to just be consistent when I'm doing sunflowers. Um, I've got a dry erase marker, and this will just be my guideline. So I'm just gonna go around and draw the center of the sunflower. And in my case, since this is on my front door, I'm gonna go ahead and write welcome. And um, let's see here, how do I wanna do this? Uh, welcome. That'll work. And then go ahead and just add your petals. And like I said, this just gives you a guideline. It's Waverly Super Premium High Performance Semi-Gloss Acrylic Paint. And here I am painting the dots in the center of the sunflower. I used several colors. And then I went through it on a background pouncing black. And then I painted, and then I did a second coat of black. And then after that, I started painting the petals. And it's important to let them dry thoroughly in between coats, or you're just going to smear your paint. As soon as I start talking, Rami's going to start barking. I guarantee it. Anyway, I went through and added... So let me tell you what I did. Here she goes. First thing I did was add the dots to the center, and I put welcome on the petal, and added some white highlights. Then I went through and added... Uh, I painted with yellow, orange, and white on the first layer of petals. And then once that's dried, I went through and did the same thing to the second layer of petals. And once that was dry, I added another layer of yellow. You can't really tell right now, but if you add the other layer, the second layer to the first layer of flowers, there'll be more definition and depth. Um, well, there you go. I hope some of these tips may have helped you paint in reverse on your windows. 